We also have the fabulous <laughs> the angel in the house. And of course, um, Angel, the topic that we're talking about is about, you know, based on the fact that, you know, we're coming from so far where the males and the females are being so apart because in slavery time, you know, they used to separate the families. Men, you know, wouldn't, wasn't able to protect their women, right? And also, the slave master used to boost them to breathe, that the more women they breathe, and call them studs so that they can have more slaves. So they used to use them as like animals, really. But they don't realize, and you know, then we come back with that mentality that, okay, the more you get out, and the more stud you be, or the more women or whatever, right? But also the fact that a man will come to a space where we and the man will not together, you know, men are becoming lovers of themselves and they're not embracing us as they should. Some want to compete, you know, and just the amount of things that we as women have to face. Like for example, if you're a woman, a strong woman that get things done or can do things, a man can become intimidated. Instead of empowering we and we empowering him and we're working together, he starts to feel threatened. You know what I mean? And also the way how sometimes man offers us properties or a possession instead of a partner that we're supposed to grow with and know that we're supposed to build with. When we come together, they empower, we empower them and we make this thing happen. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I want to know if you have any encounter in those departments, you know, and uh, experience. You don't have to really call a name or anything, but you know, you're a woman, you're a go get up, you make things happen, so you must have encounter that. Right? Because we are, we want women that go and get things done. We do encounter certain issues. Yeah, and when we wish that the male would stand by us and, and push us and, you know, help us to grow and we can do the same thing. You know, when we are push man, we are playing you know? up. Yeah. All right? We go hard. We go hard. Yeah. But, but, right? We sometimes feel that maybe if the woman becomes a certain, to a certain level, he's probably going to lose her. So... Right? So can you elaborate? Do you do it? <laughs> so what do you think? Can you give me your intake on that? Alright, good evening everybody. Um, hi ladies, gentlemen, a big up for yourself. I mean it's rare when you find a man that really supports a woman in whatever she's doing. They act like they're really supporting you at first and then when they see you really determined and push on that go get her, they kind of drama. And they wonder why. Because uh, women, we feel better when we're independent. And um, we would think that, you know, when we're independent, a man would have said, no, woman have a slack. I mean, I have to do everything at least. I can meet her, half a year, whatever, 20, 30, whatever percent. That's why us as women, we just liberate ourselves now and we just start to we. You understand? Even if we're in a relationship and we say, oh, we're part of this, we have a hard feel, we're going to do everything, we make sure we say, we work together as a team. But we don't want that team coming for it. Not every man's face, but most men are like that. But we don't want that team, so they come there, just say, we're going to do my thing, you know, and then they're going to say, watch, she have one now. I should change, I should switch up, and I'll put that system up to say. And I'm understanding that we're not going to support from you, and we know that we have to do me, you can't support me, so I have to just do me. So, you know, that's the kind of experience that I have, I had in, in, in relationships where I, I have to just step out and just do me because I don't get the support that I would love to get. So, you know, I always have to just do me and get stronger. That's why I even come up with that song. I did that song stronger because I had no choice. Yeah, because basically I had to rely on my own strength, you know? And just to me, as a woman, I'm a woman and I know you to the fullest. I want to see you do you, the mother support you, know. That is it. Well, I think maybe a part of that have to deal with how society is to the males, you know. Because sometimes it's really hard for the males to, you know, that the males do get a hard run, you know. And 
they themselves become so insecure if they feel they can't, their natural instinct which is supposed to provide for you, if they feel they're not in that cap capacity, and then you are, you know, maybe a little bit more, have a little bit more. What, I what, what I've seen, Amber, you know, I, what I've seen is that a male, especially if they don't achieve certain things, and if you as a woman achieve certain things, they start to feel threatened. So all of a sudden you're not having an argument anymore. It's like, it's like, oh, show you your house. You think so? <laughs> or, oh, show you your So you can't have a, have a, have a it, it's like that. They become, you know what I mean? And it is so, what we want to do, we want, how, how we can we show them? Uh, what can we do to change the narrative? That listen, we have to build each other too. I work for Broadway. As a woman, we have to help to embrace, be the man, and also embrace and show him the appreciation when he's doing the right thing. But at the same time, for us to feel that confident and feel that way, he has to show us that. There's nothing more wonderful like when a man is pushing you. You, you want to hold that man for, you know what the, the funniest thing is? It's the best feeling ever. You want to hold on to that man so much. And the funniest feeling is that the man, he will actually push you away sometimes. And he will push you away because in his mind, he thinks that if you, because you are elevating on certain things, um, you're not going to want it. When, uh, when all you want from him is love. You just want love from him because you don't care. Once you get to love that man, once you get to, you just want to love him. You know what I mean? So, you have to ask yourself when you find a man, what is love? Is love just him looking at me and hugging me at night? Or is love just telling him to provide for another hundred days, another hundred years? Is he going to stand with me? Is he going to hold my hand without some other women out there changing his mind because it affects where we're coming from? Yeah. <laughs> it's so true. So true. So true. At least, I guess there's different interpretations of love. And it's important, but remember, when you don't have love that is supported by communication, understanding, trust, and all the other things that we want out of a man, then you might have a relationship that just lasts long, but it's not really fulfilling. Yes, yes. No, you know what I mean? Right. 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 You don't act like this is a very important aspect, right? Okay. The, the terrible thing. I saw something. Um, I was observing something. I don't know if everybody saw it, but I was seeing. And for some reason, to your agent, it reminds me of you, right? This Jada incident. Okay? Now, listen to this. Jada apparently had a boyfriend when she and her spouse were apart, right? And they were tearing Jada down. And even though Will said, I had relationships too, I was doing my thing too, they stick on her. And another thing, he went and he did what he did, but they blamed her. Have you, you really realized the narrative that this is how woman in the society is really the man, everybody come down, even the very woman come down on you. It's like you have no way to win, no way out. <laughs> Um, can you elaborate on that a little bit? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've been through the same thing where my husband cheated in my relationship, in my marriage, and then him come out and I pay the victim say I may cheat. And then it's a public situation, and then at the end of the day, they're going to not even try to listen to me. They're not going to really take his side, women take his side, man take team side, everything. So I had to just you know, pants her back and say, how am I going to deal with this situation? And most of when you're a public figure, it's different. Because if believe who I am, I'm sure it will affect me this way. It will be so public and nobody will be here. So when you're a public figure, you have to embrace yourself for every and anything. And that's the time in my life where I had to say, Lord, I'm going to do this. Because I'm never sure how I how I get out of this. And when I was speaking to one of my producers, I'm saying, just go out the music. So I think that music saved me, and then I took pen to paper. That's where I wrote stronger. And when I write stronger, because in the whole time, I'm the man side, nobody listen to me. I'm the talk, the talk, the talk, the talk, but nobody want to hear what I have to say. 
and because of the idea, because I guess yeah, they did right. So then now it's to the right, but it's to the wrong. But they love negativity. And they want to feed off of that energy. And that's I, I think that's where I get even stronger. To put the alien on me and touch the back the rock, the tough is the rough. No matter what you say about the alien, you can't see it. And when we talk 10 years ago, we can't talk it right now because we never talk one line. You understand? And, and today, people are going to respect me as a woman because we could have tear them and go down to the dark to everything. I go down to the dirt and go to the cut time and never did. Come on, I never raised myself. You understand? I hold on to my truth. I hold on to my sanity. I just do music. Because me remember one time. I want to go down to me. And I say, Lord God, I don't know who the do I say, what do do? And then when I find stronger, that change in everything. Can you just so you see music? Let me hear it as a piece. <laughs> music is so powerful. Let's say yes to the water. Everything I'm about to get right about it because it's stronger really led me to that place, you know? And then when the come out, I say, I couldn't believe I music do it. Like there's a turn people's mind how we're thinking and then I stood up strong I'm never, never I'm never even back down I'm never down the person who was doing it to me you know I'm never class them and bring them down to the gutter but I stand my ground as a woman and I had to deal with it you see even a woman walk in that event and all these things and I had to sit down and I hold my posture and I had to just and inside I was dying <laughs> but I just pretended like everything was okay because my family supported me I mean, I have a lot of, I have, even Amber, you black queen, oh, a lot of women. You remember, um, coming from so far, right? You remember, the, you remember the, the, that time, I think it was Church of River Park. Yes. And I was there with you. Oh, and the plan, I was like, come on, Angel, okay. Oh. And you came out with a song, do you remember? Yes. And they were dumbfounded, they came into yes. really attack and yes. everything, and you just came out with that, and even, he had to run. Yes. You remember? Yes. Oh my God! So we're coming. Yeah. Do hold on a second. Okay. Who oh, else? Who else? That was something else. You remember? Yes. Angel, this one is for you. I've been watching you live on television for more than 15, 20 years, mm -hmm. and. I've seen what you went through as a woman and many other women out there in the industry, in the home, in the in the business field, even in the communities. But I just want to ask you one question that will resonate with more than a million women out there tonight. But I want you to all to take the time to hear what I ask before you answer. Out of all that you went through, do you ever think that you were just too good enough for them? <laughs> What's the <that>? deep question? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I've had this question, question for you for more than 10 years. Of course, definitely, because at the end of the day, I know my value and I, I know my worth. So, <laughs> so, yes, I know my value and I know my worth. So, I, I think that was really too good enough. <laughs> too good enough. <laughs> Yes, Amber, yes, Amber, you have, yeah, you need, yes. Sometimes when we end up in these situations, we're actually the best thing that ever happened to them. Yeah, that's so you know what I mean, but... I don't know why you search, I can't find any I think we have some parallels. Yes. I, Angel, you and I, and being in the public, as you said, that makes a whole world of difference yes. from a woman who goes through something in her private life, because your private now become public. But once you know your truth and you're standing it, yeah. you don't back down from the person. You're not bashing the person either. You're just showing the world that, look, this is what happened. And 10 years later, they live to see what happened. And it is because the people look just like the man. <laughs> oh my God. Or, you know, people find out, so well, actually, the man used to really cheat the truth. Or uh, whatever the case yeah, might yeah. be, it's different things that happen to women. Yeah. Then you would have known that all your struggles really and truly, you come out on top of it. 
because when you're in the public and you have dirt going on your name and you're like, you know, you know yourself that really and truly you don't deserve this and you were good to the person and the people who you're going through this week. You really know just to need to be comfortable in yourself and go through. Like music, Angel said, is the music doing for her. She end up just go through all of that struggle, all of that fire, all of that booing by doing the music. Can I answer that what you were saying? Sure. Just Me now, I just use, you know, my own strength and I get self-defense because when you grow up and people bullying you, bullying you from then, either because you're too skinny or whatever, mm -hmm. then by the time you reach certain age and stage, you, you really have a hard shell. Mm -hmm. So for me, I wouldn't say that, um, you know, I was felt defeated. I just knew that I was standing in my throat and it would be shown. And yeah. the same thing for you that I saw, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You want to... You know, yeah, I'm just going to add a little bit. So, um, like, saying um, in the public eye, so, um, in where I live in Canada, I'm like, you know, basically like a local celebrity. Yeah. So, again, um, it's um, going through certain things. I'm a very private person. But then when certain things happen in a relationship, they want to know, you understand? Um, I had to learn, because I'm one of those people, um, you start with a real name, that you're going to take no father off, right? right? So, I, I'm the type of person who speaks my mind. I had to learn how to, just like what you said, keep quiet. Keep quiet. Sometimes, you see how you say it to music? Time. You see when time comes sometimes? Then you learn. It's all those people, listen, because you have to remember now, when all of this stuff is happening, it's the noise. Yeah. You know, everything going on, this thing, that, that thing, it's all the noise. I love people, people love add to noise, they love make more noise. Okay. So you become silent, and then they realize that, oh my God, they say, start seeing some of these things. Yeah, then still want to take back the word. Okay, yeah. right. Yes, all right, we're trying to run out of time, but I'm going to add to that. I'm going to add, and I'm going to let you ladies know this. And it's not just ladies enough, but gentlemen, I need you to know this and understand this. You have to realize that when you're in light, certain things come at you. You have to experience certain things. You're going to remember, you know, you are not just regular with a regular world. And because of that, like when the darkness comes or the enemy comes, because the majority is going to move with the darkness. Okay. Yeah. And whenever you see you are going through these obstacles, just remember there is something special there for you and there is something special for you to do. And be very much aware. This is serious enough. It is spiritual element enough. Yeah. You better find it and you better go save and do what you are supposed to do. There is a reason why so much darkness come at you. Yeah. Alright? So, alright. So, you know, of course, once again, this is my own queen and friends. And this is what we do. We educate, elevate, and entertain. Next, we go into the entertainment. All right. I just want to say, of course, we have to big up the sponsors, Love and Gratitude. You know, um, Triangle Records, of course, um, Single Track. You know, Fifty, Butterans, Tamba, and um, Laser Matrix who help to put this together. And I have to say thanks to these very genuine gentlemen males who really like, you know come together and said, alright, you know, Queen, I'll be back, we're gonna do this, let's do this. And I just want to give, a, give them a round of applause. Alright? Thank you. Okay? See you next time. Yeah. Yeah.